Hi, this is Linda with Bloom Bay Create, and I had several people email me about my printing on the banner, the intentional banner, and um, I was hoping everybody would think it would be my printing, but it's not. It's a stencil. It's a stencil made from a font. So I am in my studio, uh, Silhouette Studio Designer Edition, and I'll show you how easy it is. Uh, I have a portrait, but if you have a cameo, you also can use it. As far as other cutting uh, machines, I have no idea. This is what I'm working in. Um, we'll get the text tool, and I'm going to uh, type a word. And it just so happens that uh, I have that text, um, that font that I want to use uh, already highlighted. So we have, I've typed hope, and um, this font I got from well, inter the internet. I'm not sure where I got it, but I liked it because it was kind of plain and open. It almost like printing. Um, I also go down here, I highlight this, highlight the word, and this is my old graphic design days that I went to current it. So the character spacing, I just changed to 90% because it brings them a little closer together. I like that. But you don't have to do that. Now what we need to do is we need to, um, for all of these open areas, we need to break this up so that they will be uh, letters and it would be a stencil. If you don't do that, then it's going to all fall out and it's just going to be a big hole. It's just not going to look right. And I know you might see, I've seen people um, cut letters and they just did not do that and it, it doesn't look right. And I don't think it looks right. Anyway, there are two ways to do this. You can use the cutting tool or the knife, but I like to use the eraser. It's just easier and it just makes more sense. Now, um, you can use different sizes, but I wouldn't use anything big. You want something small, so you just you're just not going to take a little bit of piece out of this each of these um, letters. So on the ones like P and O, I take it from the bottom, and you just erase just a little bit. See how the letter goes back and connects again. And there, that one connects too. And then for the E, I like to go up here. You can cut it wherever you want to, but I kind of like it cut up there. So there I have my word ready to uh, send to the cutter. And we'll do that in a minute. But I would like to uh, show you some of the other words that, or the other fonts, I'm sorry, that you might want to uh, try. You can go through these, and if you highlight it, you can just go through all of them really fast. See what, they, you know, a lot of these, a lot of these will work. I kind of wanted something that looked more like I had wrote, written it. I thought maybe I would get by with that. No, really, I wanted to do a, a post on this. But um, you'll see some of them are nicer than others. Uh, Gil Sands is always a nice one. I always like that's clean. But it, it looks like a type face, whereas I think the one that I used is just, um, uh, it looks more like I printed it. Now, this is called Giddy Up. I don't like this font anyway. But you can see here that the E's open, the P's open, the O's open, except for the bottom. You'd have to open that. But I think it's an ugly font, so uh, I wouldn't use it anyway. So anyway, the other, um, you need to watch and not use real thin. Um, let me find one here. It's going to be, it's gonna really be hard to cut that, and it's just not going to look right. So just think about more of a clean, clean cut that you want to that you want to use. So let me get rid of that. So what I did with mine is, since I'm using a portrait, I have a cutting area of like eight by eleven, eleven and a half, and so I just typed a whole bunch of words on it and then sent it to the cutter. I wouldn't cut just one. Uh, word. And let's see, so let's pretend we have a whole bunch of words on here and I'm going to send it to the cutter, so there's the cutting. Now, this is, um, I have this set on custom because I am using, for stencils, I am using um, report cover material that you get at um, Staples or Office Depot. It's, it's cheap, 
and it works and it's not of course it's not as heavy as the stencils that you buy but um, it's, it serves its purpose I, I really like it you set the speed on 3 the thickness on 33 and then I have my blade at 4 then I have I've, of course I have put my material on a cutting mat and then I double cut it and uh, that should work if you try this and it doesn't quite work then um, change your your speed and your thickness or change your blade it's something you might have to play with but these are the values that I have gotten then all I do all I do then is just cut it and you have all these stencils that you can make all these stencils of all these words that you love in a font that you like the last step once you are after you have the stencils and you're printing it on your fabric or your journal, uh, you know, it could be on paper. You will need to, uh, when you're doing the paint, you'll need to, after you remove the stencil, you need to paint where the breaks are. And I used a fabric pen instead of regular paint, and it was really easy to be more exact. And it was really easy once it took the stencil off just to paint that area. So, anyway, that is. Um, all that I have to say about that and hope that helped if you have any questions about how to make these uh, stencils from fonts please email me and I'll be glad to help you uh, thanks for listening bye